I am Leslie Brickus. I am the author, lyricist and composer of the musical Dr. Doolittle. And I am Mark Williams and I am a British character actor and I'm about to play, very excited about it, Dr. Doolittle. Dr. Doolittle began over half a century ago. I was in San Francisco doing a musical called The Roar of the Grease Paint with Tony Newley. Um, and an American PR man called Arthur Jacobs came up to San Francisco and said, I have news for you that will change your life. And two days later, 20th Century Fox had offered me to do to write Dr. Doolittle. I didn't know a lot about the stage musical, but the film was a big part of my young life, as a lot of Leslie's songs were. I had a sort of very strong feeling that I knew what I'd do. Could I do it, and could I do it well? And I thought, yes. And that, that kind of gives me, once I've got that, I'm, I'm very enthusiastic. Because I was writing a musical about Noah's Ark, and there was a PR man who went to, to Daryl Zanuck and said, I found a guy who writes songs about animals. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that is literally how they came to approach me. They gave me the 12 Dr. Doolittle books, and I decided not to get into them until I thought, what's the film about? It's about a man who learns to talk to animals. And so I wrote a song that first day called Talk to the Animals. I'm very interested in how Dr. Doolittle moves from being a West Country doctor and to being enlightened by the animals. And it's such a brilliant idea that, that he can go from one world into a complete open universe with, which nobody else really has access to. And I think that it's his joy and his enthusiasm of, uh, of being able to talk to the animals, which is why that's such a fantastic song because it's it's so full of that that incredible awakening he has. Uh, I've written three new songs for for this version, and we realised that Doctor Doolittle could not only talk to the animals, but we could learn the human being could learn from the animals about their patterns of behaviour, and so it's a two-way traffic, as it were. And I think that's an important new ingredient. Um, the, the animals help Doolittle solve all his problems. And of course, Doolittle thinks that animals are much nicer than people. There is that, yes. And, and he, he's not very good with people. You can get surprised by different responses. The, the shading of the show can change subtly when you're in different places because people get different things and they're often really surprising. I'm delighted that we're going to have a great experience of working together.